about 100 people came to the opening of Mi'kmaq artist Alan Silliboy's new studio. It's fantastic. It's really a good, uh, a good turnout, and uh, it's just a good energy. It's really, it's what I was hoping for. Angela Doyle Faulkner owns Silliboy's art and is purchasing more. His work is absolutely amazing. He's an amazing old new artist and to be here in Millbrook celebrating with him and seeing all this amazing art everywhere and the beautiful turnout from all the, the friends and people who just came out to support him is very heartwarming. Silliboy incorporates Mi'kmaq petroglyphs, ancient stone carvings into his art and other traditional Mi'kmaq designs. Chief Bob Glode of the Millbrook First Nation says, Alan's artwork is, is, uh, is phenomenal and uh, it also incorporates a lot of the hieroglyphics that, uh, from, from ancestors before. Silly Boy's paintings are on display throughout the Maritimes, including the Halifax Central Library, as well as galleries nationally and internationally. Robert Bernard, Executive Director of the Nova Scotia Indigenous Tourism Enterprise Network, a nonprofit organization, says Silly Boy has impacted cultural tourism. You know, I think he's been a huge proponent in educating mainstream society with not only his art the past 30, 40 years, but in his music and his appearances. And the opening was a community event, a fundraising barbecue for youth sports team provided lunch, and local musicians in support of Silly Boy performed in the space next door. Yeah, I'm feeling really good. I'm really, it's good energy here, and it's good to see people I haven't seen for a long time. It's, it's really great. And then, you know, later on, all the musicians, we get together and we're going to have fun. Silly Boy's Gallery is part of the economic development of the Millbrook First Nation, located 91 kilometers northeast of Halifax. Glode says... Provide opportunities for our uh, residents, our community members, to be able to uh, showcase their work, showcase their art and their skills and their talents here in the community to give them a, a, a place to do business. The day was a celebration of a beloved artist. Doyle Faulkner says. This is very important for the Mi'kmaq in, in Mi'kmaq simply because um, this is not only encouraging other all new artists but our youth and when our youth come here and are inspired by Alan's art that is what really makes this so more, much more exciting. Silly Boy is a multimedia artist such as music, books and video making art his entire life. Well, yeah, when I wake up, I know I'm going to make something. I'm not sure what it is sometimes, but, I, you know, it's just, just making, making art every day. And uh, to me, that's, that's a very full life. The Alan Silliboy Art Studio is open weekdays. Angel Moore, APTN National News, Millbrook, First Nation.